Susan. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. In evening. Ah, I love it. Ah. <laughs> we are so fortunate to have Mr. Google Foods here. And also, I'm sous vide everything. Sous vide everything. Yes, yes. Thank that's you, what thank it you. is. And and it's a um, pleasure to be here. You know, last time I was here, you guys treated me so well. Today, I want to do something different. I want to introduce you, Hiro, to the queen of queen. all meats. Okay? This okay. is picanha. It is traditional in Brazil. That's what we love to eat. And there's a, something more special about this picanha because it's a wagyu picanha. This picanha is wagyu marble score five. Okay? And uh, the plan is, I'm going to cook my regular picanha for you. And then I was thinking, because obviously I came back because I love this thing here. Maybe you can make a picanha sushi for picanha me. Picanha sushi. Huh? Sure. All right. Sounds great. <laughs> right. I'm excited. Ready All right. Me. All right. I am going to go ahead and slice this how we need to and we'll get this going. Sure. Let's do it. First thing we got to take it out of the package. And I always recommend never to wash it. Remove it like this. Wipe it clean instead of washing out the excessive juice. Now she's pretty clean. I took out pretty much all the silver skin and additional fat that needed to be taken out. Now here's the thing. We're gonna do something. We're gonna give Hiro some steaks to try. Okay, Hiro? Okay. So we're gonna cut it in steaks. And I recommend always cutting with the grain because the final cut will be against the grain when we're trying it out. So what I'm going to do here, we're just gonna make some nice steaks with it. And I'm cutting here with the grain. And as you can see that marbling inside, and this is cutting with the grain. And that marbling, look at the marbling, it's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> and this is because we're cutting at the grain. Now we're gonna do something that, it's not for steak, but I think it will be good for the sushi roll. Okay. For us to give it a try. We're gonna cut it against the grain. And when we cut it against the grain, you can see the difference in marbling, look at that. And then for us to maybe put it on top. Salt flake. And what this does is dissolves really quickly. Mm. That's why I like it. But this is more like a seasoning salt, like finishing salt, you know, okay. to finish it. But I like to season it because uh, it penetrates really quick since we're gonna be fast today. So I'm just... Now, I like it well seasoned. Now, it might look like a lot of salt, but remember, this is not fine salt. It is a, uh, you know, flaky salt, so it is not going to be very salty. At all. We're going to cook these sous vide as well. These are going to be inside of the sushi roll. So we're going to season these too. Might be able to fit two in here. That's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Wow. So you put this in the freezer, it stays fresh, isn't it? You Forever. could, you could. But if you do put it in the freezer, you cannot use this salt because what will happen is if you use this salt, look at the salt is pretty much dissolving right now. Okay. So if you use this one and you put it in the freezer, it will still work. But what will happen is it will have a cured taste. Got it. Okay, okay, because the meat will go in, so it will taste like kind of cure. So you could do the same exact thing, but if you're going to put it inside of the freezer and freeze it, use like a thick salt that won't penetrate it and will freeze the meat before it actually penetrates. Got okay? it. How do you know when it's ready? Well, it's really by experience uh, when you know when it's ready. <laughs> so with this cut of meat right here, uh -huh. these will be ready in an hour. 
and we can leave it in the sous vide up to four hours with not much difference. These here will take a little bit uh, less. This will probably be about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. They'll be ready to go. Okay. Now the great thing about sous vide is that you know it, it won't overcook the meat. It will always stay at the medium rare, but the texture will change if you leave it there longer and longer and longer. It's pretty much it. So it's perfect. You will never overcook the meat. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. It's as simple as that. Now we're gonna cook these right here, which is a little bit thicker uh, here. We're gonna cook this one for one hour at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So that will be a perfect medium rare. I know you, the cameraman, likes it rare, oh, but yeah. we're gonna go with the majority today. Okay. <laughs> because for him, we can just give him this yeah, one here. Best. There you go. You're welcome, I'll my friend. <laughs> just take it like that. I'll put a little bit of salt for you. You're good to All go. All right, I'll eat it. <laughs> for us, we're gonna cook this one here, medium rare, and then this one here. So just to recap, one hour in the sous vide, we'll be ready. This one here, 35, 40 minutes, we'll be good to go. We have our water bath already heated up to 135 degrees. That's it. Now the wonderful thing about sous vide, yeah, it does take a little bit longer, but now there's nothing else to do. We could do whatever we want. they come out they come out looking kind of weird I would agree with everybody even though it's fully cooked they have like a weird color right because mm. yeah, it's not uh, you know we don't have that my right reaction that beautiful reaction that we all love Now it is very important when you are uh, trying to get a nice crust on the steak to pat it dry and get all the moisture out so that that you know it sears it quickly and by searing it quickly you're not overcooking the medium because we like medium rare you like it rare like you said mm -hmm. but you can have yours <laughs> all right very good let's do this Now we're going to put it on our tray here, ready for searing. Even though I have something that I use all the time, which is my flamethrower. And if you're searing this at home, everybody, you can just spin sear it. Make sure you get that cast iron or skillet. It will work too. Hot, hot, hot. All right, guys, we're going to get a very quick and fast sear on the steaks. I'm using my toy that was homemade for me. It is going to be quick. And Chef Hiro said that uh, I think it's a good idea. You mentioned to sear this one yes, as well. That's going to go inside of the, of the sushi roll. So we're just going to sear everything together. And I have a saying on my channel because it is true. It doesn't look that good right now, right? But watch this. Let's do it. beautiful picanha here. Now the wonderful thing about picanha and sous vide and uh, is that we don't need it to let it rest 
like normally you would cook a steak and you right. let it rest, but because it's done sous vide and the temperature is already equalized, so there's no need to rest. There's only one thing left to do. <laughs> okay, enough. Let's yeah. chop it up. Look at the marbling in between mm -hmm. each cut. That looks amazing. That is why we Brazilians call this the queen of all meats. And to say that this is juicy is an understatement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfectly medium rare. My good friend Hiro, enjoy. No. <laughs> Let's go with the chopsticks. Please, Hero, I have had many picanhas. I know it's your first time. <laughs> There's no need to talk. <laughs> but we want to know. Another good one. Yeah. Another good one. Melting, melting. melting. melting yeah. This part is so, so good. Yeah. Juicy. The fat, isn't part it? Is the so fat good. is incredible. Oh, look at, inside the meat, there's a marbling in between. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. that. You can see it. Check it out. Wow. Well, here's on. Now you're ready to make this sushi roll. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, sushi. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to grab the beef. Inside. Okay, I need to take a little bit juice out. Too juicy, yeah. huh? So Normally for that's never a problem. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sucking everything, but for the sushi, need a little bit water out. Mm. Okay, that's good. Yeah, look at the marbling in between the fibers of the meat. You know, normally I eat it so quickly that I have never paid attention to that. <laughs> right? Can you <laughs> it imagine? It's incredible. No, it's amazing. I think, like you said, the, the marbling scale is what, five? Which is five. perfect. Mm -hmm. Put it up. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put another meat on the roll. This one. But I think a fat is a little bit too, too tough for the I torch. Agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it off. And there's plenty of fat there. Yeah. Look at this beef. Beautiful, right? So good, right? You want to put a lot of beef on top, oh, right? Oh yeah, let's do. Let's <laughs> because do you know, I was thinking to put this. No, way. no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> we work for food here, don't you remember? Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. We're working for food. <laughs> well, I'm working for food anyway. Oh yes, it looks beautiful. And then this one with, without the plastic. Oh, one. interesting. Okay, okay. no plastic wrap on that. Shape one. it up. So it doesn't stick. I got you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right? Okay. 
turn into we are four so i'm gonna cut into the eight piece okay eight. nobody for no no fight <laughs> <laughs> no fighting no two fight. for each <laughs> yeah. peace Take a few them out. Can we eat it already, you know? One more thing. One more thing, okay, okay, okay. go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Scallions, delicious. Oh, that's like a cherry on top. Guga here says his dreams come true. It is. This Might is as well. art. <laughs> Absolutely stunning roll hero. You got this beautiful picanha, wagyu picanha. Let's talk about. Yes, yes wagyu prepared picanha. beautifully hero, by two different masters. I honestly, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for this wonderful treat. <laughs> it is my dream come true, everybody. Okay, can we go? Sure, let's, we go. Okay, let's go. Okay, yes. Can I go? I go first. Yes, please. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Look at that. My two favorite things combined together, everybody. Picaya and sushi. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you wow. wanna try it? <laughs> oh <laughs> man, <laughs> that's good. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Mm. Good, huh, guys? I said. I can just tell by the reaction. I said, try Japanese Wagyu before. I said, no, no, no. Try this. Yeah. Try this. I, I don't know if you can make it like Hero did it with the sushi, but man, this is incredible. Wow. Wow. Few words can describe it, man. Yeah. That is incredible. Let's take a look. So, so, no. two, right. di two different texture, right? Yeah, Inside exactly. Outside. Two different I'll texture. Try a piece myself. You guys can see this. Hmm. Mm. Good. Wow. I'm licking my fingers. <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> licking my fingers, everybody. It is incredible. <laughs> it is incredible. The top of the beef is because you sear it inside, so quite like a rare. Yeah. But inside, it's got a great texture. Of course, the rice perfectly seasoned. Salt is just excellent. Not overdone. Unbelievable. Well, one more piece for me, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, one more piece. Yeah. 
He thank you so lot. much. Thank you. Thank from, you for uh, inviting from us, me once from again. all of our viewers. So you're and your viewers, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Absolutely. Enjoy the hero, right? We had such a great time. Yeah. The food. Thank you. We nice hope to see time. you guys soon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you allow me, I'll be back anytime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cooking with these guys is fantastic. Watching him cook is was a pleasure. I've learned so much already, and I look forward to learning a lot more. Thank you, thank you for very inviting much. me. Absolutely. Thank you, Suvi, and all their information is down below. Make sure to give them a follow. Watch their things. Subscribe. And... Any comments, leave them down below. We can't wait to see you guys soon. Thank you so much again. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.